Hi, this is Claire Litton for ISMA TV. I'm currently in Perth, Australia, and it's the day after Australia Day here. Australia Day is the national celebration. It's kind of like the 4th of July in the States and the 1st of July in Canada. And it sort of celebrates, you know, it's a general national holiday. Back in 1938, however, the Aboriginal residents of Australia started to call it um, Invasion Day because it, for them it wasn't so much celebrating a national identity as it was celebrating the erasing of their national identity. Since then there's been a lot of movement forward in uh, Aboriginal rights in this country, but interestingly enough this year the Google Doodle, the little um, image that Google often puts on their uh, front homepage for Australia Day was supposed to be um, this lovely design that was created by a year four student um, it featured Australian animals at night, and in center in the middle of the design was the Aboriginal flag. However, when Google put the doodle up on its website, they erased the um, Aboriginal flag from the design, uh, much to the consternation of everyone who had seen the winning design previously to that. Um, Google didn't really give any reasoning for this, except that the Aboriginal flag was supposedly a copyrighted design. But the, um, the copyright holder, Harold Thomas, uh, said that Google did not respectfully ask to use his design and negotiations stalled as the company wanted to have it for a pittance. So interestingly enough, Google could have supported the Aboriginal community on Australia Day and instead of doing so, they actually chose to change the original design and not credit the Aboriginal um, creator of the design in the first place. So, um, a little bit of a, uh, a rough shot by Google, but at least there was some attention drawn to the Aboriginal situation through that. So here's hoping that we see more instances of the Aboriginal flag elsewhere, maybe even on the Australian flag.